Greetings. We are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. I was flipping through YouTube the other day, and came across an interesting music video from 2017. I don't normally listen to secular music, but this one caught my ear. It was some big dude named Rag and Bone, and he was singing a song called Human. The lyrics were kind of a mixed bag, of humility, and futility. Initially, the lyrics seem to be saying that we need to cut him some slack, because he's only human. The song says, Maybe I'm foolish. Maybe I'm blind. Thinking I can see through this. And see what's behind. Got no way to prove it. So maybe I'm blind. But I'm only human after all. Don't put your blame on me. Unquote. So some pretty raw and valid thoughts. In other words, since I am but a lowly human, I make mistakes. Therefore, because I am human, and I make mistakes, you must overlook those mistakes. Well I guess it depends on what those mistakes are. Are we talking about poor grammar, or violence? There's a big difference between a lack of education, and a crime. Then again, what do we do with character flaws, like lying, or cheating, or petty theft? I'll be honest with you, I don't really care what society thinks. Society is shifting sand. What was considered a mental illness, or dysphoria, 20 years ago, is now embraced as normal. Societal perspectives change, as often as you change your socks. So I couldn't care less about what society has to say about any moral standards, because they don't have any. Anytime you put superficial issues like racism, over the value of the life of an unborn child, I have no respect for your so-called values. Granted racism can be a valid issue, but in most cases, it is not. Just because I prefer the company of someone of my own race, someone I share similar cultural experiences with, that's not racism. Now if I prejudge someone, simply by the color of their skin, that's true racism, and that should be discouraged. But to compare that with the vicious slaughter of millions of innocent children, is ludicrous. Racism may hurt someone's feelings, abortion stops a beating heart. Racism may be cruel, but abortion, is murder. Society says racism is the top sin of our nation. But then they go on to say abortion, the murder of an innocent child, is healthcare. You see where this is going? Can you see why we cannot trust society, to set our moral standards? So where can we go, to get valid standards, to live a healthy vibrant life? Both physically, morally, and spiritually. There is only one place we can go, for valid and trustworthy standards. We go to the source. The source of what's right and wrong. A source that doesn't change and morph, with the flowing tides of societal instability. We go, to the Creator. He not only created the universe, and everything in it, He created the moral standards by which we are supposed to live. Only God can tell you what is right, and what is wrong. Only God can be trusted to give us truth. Truth that is pure and virtuous. Without malice, or ulterior motives. God has only one agenda. Salvation for His beloved children. Ironically, that song we were talking about earlier, has the answer. Granted, some of the lyrics were a bit of a cop-out, but hidden deep within the end of the song, the singer casually gives the solution, for being only human. He says, I'm no prophet, or messiah. Should go looking, somewhere higher. Unquote. In reality, anyone can be a prophet. But there was only one, messiah. There was only one, God-man. There was only one person, that lived the perfect life. There was only one person, who sacrificially gave their life, so that you might live. But he not only saves us, he empowers us, to rise above our frailties and weaknesses. And with that empowerment of the Holy Spirit, we can rise above the societal norms, and reach a true and valid standard, of godliness. So we may be, only human. And yes, we make mistakes. But only through the cross, can we boldly proclaim, don't put the blame on me. For it was on the cross, that Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, took all my sin and shame upon himself. We have all sinned, and fallen short of God's standards. The problem is, the wages of sin, is death. But the free gift of God, is eternal life, through faith in Jesus Christ. 
If we believe in our hearts that Jesus is Lord, and we confess Him as our Savior, God will credit His payment on the cross, to our account. He paid a debt that He did not owe, because we owed a debt that we could not pay. It's the great exchange. You give Him your sin, He gives you, His righteousness. And then you can receive power from on high, to be God's witnesses. You become a lighthouse, shining the light of truth, in a world of dark societal norms. Peace be unto you and your house. Are you tired of being, only human? Are you ready to rise above the noise of society? Are you ready to embrace your destiny? Give your heart back to your Creator. You owe Him. You owe Him, everything.